I tell you, if you don't have one of these yet, you're probably going to end up with one, at least if you're into making things and a crafty person. Now, this is a brand new 3D printer. It's from Weedo. It's not out yet. The Kickstarter is October 20th and we get a chance to take a look at it. It's a dual extruder 3D printer. IDEX is what it's called. Now, I'm familiar with just the single filament. That's what I used. The filament is the uh, spool of the plastic that goes through and the extruder heats it up and has the nozzle and that's where it comes out. This one has two of them. And when I first thought about it, I was like, I don't need that. But when you see what it can do, it's pretty cool. I did some testing with the software. I got a little familiar with that. I printed some uh, calibration strips right there and it helps align the print heads. Because you're printing with two separate nozzles, you gotta make sure that they're both lined up. Um, and uh, it's quite large, really. It's 400 millimeters tall by 300 by 300. And my older printer is uh, not anywhere close to that. So let's turn it on. And I really like this. It's a color touch display. It makes it so much easier when you're picking your files, making sure you got the right one. The files are G-code files. You can download them off Thingiverse, print, uh, it's a website where people share a lot of different files that they make, 3D files. Up at the top of the display, you see the temperature of the two nozzles. That's the temperature of the print bed. We just go to print off a card. I could just beam this from my computer if I wanted to, but I decided to do a card. Let's, uh, let's do this one. And check it out. That's a file made on Thingiverse by, I think his name is Al Pokemon. I'll put a link in the description if you want to download this yourself. And, you know, it's free, but it is nice if you give them a little donation. So check that out if you want to print one of these yourself. It shows you an image of what you're going to print. So we're printing in PLA. That's just a standard. That's the thickness of each line. And that's how long this is going to take. We're going to hit print. It starts off by printing a brim. You can have it do it or not. It just helps the print not to lift sometimes. Some prints you don't need it. But I can't believe how quiet this printer is. Listen to this. Let's try something different. I made a logo. It's going to take 56 minutes. And you can increase the speed on this. I can just uh, go to settings, change the temperature and stuff like that right while it's still going. I think this actually turned out really well. It's slightly embossed. And uh, it's, I don't know, I'll use it for like maybe a nameplate on different tools or something, put my logo on it instead. Um, what we're printing now, and this might be the last thing for this video, is um, from this project we did a while back. A lot of um, my viewers wanted to make one of these for themselves. It's pretty complicated. It's not impossible, but it's pretty complicated. So I spent some time designed this part here. So it's actually printing like this right now and I have some supports so it doesn't get top heavy and wobble at the end. Well, it's a nine hour print. I let it print overnight and I gotta say I am impressed. 
This came out great. There's a little imperfection in it, and that's when I paused the print, so that's my fault. Um, but wow, this is the first time I've, I've printed it. And you can print in two colors, so I could have the blue going through here. And now it's obviously not big enough, but I can make it in sections, like three pieces you put together. That is so cool. By the way, they give you this uh, metal tool to scrape the parts off. I wouldn't use it. I don't want to damage the surface here. And you can take this, you know, it has a removable surface. So you can replace it if you want. It's a metal sheet. But man, that came out so nice. Let's uh, pry it off. You can see how close it is to the original. This is made out of wood. By the way, it's called a chape. It's the uh, same Latin word that cap comes from. Um, it's just the cap at the end of the scabbard there. This printer costs $689. That's retail price. They're launching their Kickstarter October 20th. So like right now. And that is a special price. I think it's $500. You want to check that out. Is it worth it? I think absolutely it is worth it. I have just a regular simple 3D printer. And this does some awesome things that the other one just can't do. So there's almost no comparison. So if you're considering getting a printer, I would highly recommend you consider something like this. It has a much larger print volume than my other printer, so I can print a lot more things. Because it has two extruders, it also allows you to print duplicates and use both nozzles. That's great if you want to mass produce parts. It's like you have two 3D printers. There's a feature that I didn't show you because I don't have the filament. It's called PVA. It's a water-soluble filament. So sometimes when you're printing different things and different sculptures and stuff like that, you need supports. It can't just print over ledges and things like that. And breaking off supports it can be a big pain and it's not fun. Um, but with PVA, it's a water-soluble filament. You just put your final piece in water and the supports wash off. I got to buy some of that. Um, so I think it's a great printer. I didn't try out the camera, but that's also a great feature. So if you're considering something like this, you might want to check out the Kickstarter right now. I got a link in the description and uh, maybe you can get one of these for yourself. There's a lot of things I didn't cover in here. Uh, Daniel at MakeBot did a video on this model. This is the X40, by the way, if I haven't said that before. And uh, he did a great job on his video, covered everything in high detail. He got really um, deep into the specs on this thing, so it's worth checking that one out. I will get busy designing some projects for this printer, and uh, I'm excited. We'll finish up a scabbard that you can 3D print yourself. We'll do that later. It's going to make a great addition to my workshop. So I'll see you guys later. Take care. Mm -hmm.